Hey guys, um, so I'm coming at you guys with a video that's not particularly happy and pretty damn sad, and it's gonna be sadder for some people, that pe but people that don't really know what I'm talking about, it's not gonna be so much, but it's gonna be kind of more of a personal video and that kind of thing, so if you guys really do not care about that kind of stuff, then click off. I don't wanna ruin your day by adding sadness to it, but if you are already found out, then, then stick around and <laughs> feel sad together, I guess. Um, so basically, um, let me just tell you guys some things about me. Um, I've been on the internet for since I was eight. Um, yeah, I kind of just always had a computer and I'd always go um, on YouTube and I just searched up videos or seen videos or whatever. Um, and there's always been a channel that stuck with me even to this day. It's uh, since I was eight to when I'm 18 that I absolutely loved and adored and thought that they were just amazing. And this channel is called Rooster Teeth. It's my favorite channel on YouTube for the whole time span that I've been on YouTube and I love it to tears. I, f I love how they evolved. I love how it seems like the most creative and amazing people are there and it seems like they're just a amazing community that cares about their community and all that kind of stuff. So it's it that's why I love them. I could go on for ages about how much I freaking respect the shit out of them and think that they are amazing. So for people that don't know where I'm coming from or decide to stick around despite them knowing why I am sad despite the title of this video. Um, but yeah, Rooster Teeth hired an amazing writer that's been on the internet for a while now. He's created many other projects and his name is Monty Ohm and just everything you hear about him and every podcast or any little tiny thing that he is and he seems like one of the most just a cool dude and it's weird because I'm gonna talk about why I feel like it's weird. Like I, I feel kind of sick and sad and uh, no, and angry at the same time. Um, I'm gonna talk about that later. Um, but yeah, uh, um, to be completely brunt, um, this person died today, and that kind of is just fucking a shit on your entire day, week, etc. Um, I don't really show sadness very well. I'm not. I don't really cry. I'm pretty decent about holding that shit in. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't feel like, again, sick is a good word to use. Um, basically, again, the reason why it's a fucking tremendous loss that he died is because he was every single person I've ever heard from him or mentioned him has not a single bad thing to say. Um, he's all, they always say he's, he's positive, he's amazing and all these kinds of things. And it feels so weird saying that because... I never have met this person, but yet I feel sick and sad that he died, and, you know, I never met him, and I kind of feel like, I don't, why, I, you know, I shouldn't feel sad, but I do, and not to say that I don't deserve to feel sad, or that, oh, I, I shouldn't feel sad, or like, in a whiny tone, no, I, like, I feel like I shouldn't feel sad, but I do, and it's, and it's kind of horrible and amazing at the same time that you don't have to meet someone physically to feel like you know them or feel like or honestly know them or understand them or care about them is the thing that's kind of amazing and kind of awful because you have feelings like this and that's one of the things that kind of just is sucks but it's amazing at the same time because again I don't know why I'm feeling like this I don't I've never met the man I've never um seen him I've never seen the very very beginning of his work although I hear it's fantastic and amazing the very first projects he ever worked on um but again, every time that I have seen him, whether it's in the background of videos or in a podcast or in a Ruby panel or whatever, he seems like the coolest dude. And every time I read about him since he did pass away today, everyone is saying their condolences and as well as they should and all that great stuff and awful situation. Anyways, um, so they're saying their condolences and all that kind of stuff and they're talking about all the things he did and etc. And it's just amazing to hear what kind of person he was, I guess. And it doesn't really help the fact that it, you know, it makes it worse a bit. I'm not trying to be that guy, but it does when you hear about someone's amazingness and it just makes it even more horrible. Like, it's kind of awful and it's really bad. But the reason why I said I was angry is because one, on the selfish ass side of it, I will never get to meet him, which sounds weird. And not to say that I was ever expecting to meet him, but now that's gone and a terrific human being that is a legend and someone who is amazing is just boom gone and you never get to meet that person a person that people speak so highly of and that he's so amazing from what everyone says and 
you're never gonna be able to meet him and that's why I kind of feel angry but that's not the brunt of the anger that's kind of my self annoyance I guess but the main reason why I'm mad is because there's a stupid saying that everybody hates but it's almost always true and it's the good die young so on a shittier note how I know this is true and how I keep seeing things that keep reminding me that this is pretty fucking true is the fact that last year um, a girl in my class um, she went um, driving somewhere and she got hit by a car and she was um, I think in a coma and uh, she talked with her mother to say that if she was ever in this um, situation that she would you know don't don't make me a vegetable basically and um, she did it she pulled the plug and it sucked because if you've ever met that her she was fantastic she was the most kind always seeing the positive side in anything just a, a bright person that's it's weird to say that but it's it's just a bright human being that whenever you're around her you kind of feel that just kind of ah and yeah just the fact that she had to die is it, it, it's stupid it angers me because it's like there's so many people that pieces of shit that could have died but no you had to go for the one that actually like ex should exist on the planet and that's what annoys me, and that's why I fucking can't stand it, because it's like, oh, yeah, you have to take the people that are the best. Thanks, and, let's, and then we're just stuck with assholes. Sorry. Um, yeah. Fuck, that's stupid. Um, I don't know. Um, so I'm not sure if, if this is even making sense, guys, honestly. I just basically, an amazing person passed away today, and... I don't think there's, I'm not sure if there's many um, Rooster Teeth fans that are, or as, in de uh, or as entrenched um, in the community like me. I've, again, massive fan. I know everything they're doing, kind of, it's kind of creepy to say, but, but yeah, and I don't really know why I feel sad. I feel not, not that I don't know why, I just feel like I don't deserve to feel sad, not because I don't want to feel sad, I actually do want to feel sad, but I feel like the people that knew him should feel sad but then me because I didn't have the honor of knowing him you know that's the thing but I still feel awful and and it's I don't not want it like I do want it that means that you cared about someone feeling the way you do but it's it's amazing that you don't have to meet someone to still feel like you really care about them and to still feel like you just lost something amazing and it sucks because you think of all the things that they're that they're never gonna be able to do especially when they die young it's like God, that's balls. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't deal with the whole death thing really well. I'm very <clears throat> about it. Yeah, that's to put it uh, the best way possible. Until I just ball and like I just die. Like I'm pretty holding shit in until I just uh, I love I lose it. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. I just wanted in case some some people you guys are the same way kind of just feel like ah, the the fuck man. I feel angry and I feel hurt in a weird way like the way that's like i will never be able to meet him or that amazing human being as selfish as that is um and on a side note if you guys do are in the um, community and if you do want to donate to his uh, medical bills because in the u.s the medical bills are horrible i'm in canada so it's not too bad here but um yeah it, you can donate to his ha um, family to help take care of those so his family doesn't have to add to that extra shit um so that's amazing i heard like the, the community on rooster teeth let me just say that right now. Just put everything to the side. The community on Rooster Teeth, it's it's like it's like a family, and that that's amazing. That's one day that I would love to have on my channel. On a side note, um, but it's like a family where everyone kind of cares about each other and everyone kind of looks out for each other. But don't get me wrong. If you go to a video, you're probably going to see the bad members of your family, and we all have them. They're they're kind of douchebags of the family that are kind of assholes and are really obnoxious and rude and whatever. Um, but then when shit hits the fan, every bit of your family comes out and they start really showing your community and your family, so to speak. And yeah, they've been just being amazingly supportive to their family, wishing them the best, saying they're sorry, very, very sorry for the loss. And that's amazing to think that a community like that can just... It's amazing. Anyways, um, so yeah, I will leave a link uh, to the donation page where they link in their recent videos. And I'll also link to um, a couple of the journals and stories and stuff like that where they talk about who Monty Owen was just in case you guys are wondering who he was and you don't really know but you still want to understand why I say he's fucking amazing in every way and he's such a loss and that I feel sad um so yeah um, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not sure what I'm just gonna throw shit together in this video I'm not even sure if I want to upload it because it's it's a video that I feel 
I want to upload it for me, but I'm not sure. I'm, I don't even. I'm not. Uh, that's gonna fuck my week up, guys. I hope you guys feel good. So, yeah. I mean, on a plus side, he was amazing, and he left by left behind so much. And I think, honestly, he will continue to leave behind so much. I don't think they're going to stop the works that he was doing. I think they're going to go ahead and continue um, the very things that he created, in a way. Um, which I think is amazing. To have a legacy like that that's going to continue to grow and flourish is amazing. Um, anyways, guys, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just kind of in that state of sick and angry and kind of don't even know what the fuck's going on with my brain. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I'm sorry if I made your day shit. Because <laughs> my date just got shit on. And for, I'm, I welcome it. Because, yeah. It's not always so bad to feel sad. Especially, it just reminds you that how much people matter. And on a side note, this is just going to prevent... It's going to keep adding to the video. But, I think I already mentioned this. But YouTube people don't die. Or internet people don't die. Which is just... It's just true. You know, like, on the internet, people just don't seem to die, and it's amazing, and it's fantastic. But So when this does happen, it's like, it just kind of sideblinds, like, this can happen. What the fuck? <laughs> like, this world is awful <laughs> kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I, I really feel weird saying, like, I, all this legacy and how, how amazing he is, because, again, I, I never really met the man, so, I, like, so people that did meet him, I hope they don't feel like, ah, like, you know, oh, shit, you're... I don't know, you know. I hope they don't feel like oh, I actually knew him. You don't. You don't get to feel this way because you know I knew him, and it's like you're right, but I can't help that I feel this way. Um. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Sorry, <laughs> sad video. Bye.